I'm Froggy and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. August 4th is Sister's Day and Friendship Day. So we are celebrating two of our favorite sisters, Sophie and Chloe, with a Darby Show mashup. We've put together some of our favorite sisterly moments. From Darby Show Shopkins to Darby Show Surprise Ticket. Whether traveling through portals or having a pet war, these two sisters are friends forever. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> It doesn't get any better than this. I'm a mermaid lying in the warm sun on a bed of diamonds. Just me and my treasure forever. Treasure forever. Good morning, Sophie. <sighs> morning. Time to get ready for school. Wait, where are my diamonds? Let me guess. You are a mermaid sitting on a beach on a pile of treasure. Yes, how did you know? Because like I told you yesterday morning, and the day before that, and the day before that. Sophie, it was a dream. Now hurry up or we're gonna be late for school. Huh. I can't believe we have been mermaids for months now. And all I've done with our newfound abilities is talk to fish. While you have been out treasure hunting. Sophie, I haven't been treasure hunting. I've just found a few things while swimming around. And you conveniently didn't invite me. Okay, Sophie, would you like to go swimming after school today? Sure, but only if you show me all of your best spots. Okay, not a problem. Yay, I'm going treasure hunting. <laughs> it's not treasure hunting. Right, keep it hush hush. We don't want anyone else finding our treasure. <laughs> all right, here we are. Here? I come here all the time. I thought you were showing me some secret treasure place. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Sophie. I've just been finding things by accident. Now, can we just go for a swim? There's a really pretty school of fish over there. Sorry, Chloe, no time for sightseeing. I have treasure to find. Okay, maybe next time. Now, where is the library? Hmm, maybe it's in here. There has to be a book in here about treasure and where to find it. What's this? The Never Lamp will show you the way to a land where the treasure never ends. I need to find this lamp. Who knew research could be so informative? Treasure, here I come. According to this book, any mermaid can summon the lamp from the shore. Okay then, never lamp, I summon thee. Nothing's happening. Maybe I have to do it in mermaid form. Just gotta touch the water to transform. Ah! Ow, I should have sat down first. All right, never lamp, I summon thee. Ah, that was easy. Is something supposed to happen? Well, hello, dearie. Ah! Let me guess. You are looking for a treasure? Yes. Hasn't anyone ever told you the best things in life are free? Actually, yes. My sister. Like sunken treasure. Let's go. Oh, that's what you meant. Treasure, yeah. Let's go find some of that. I can't believe we found all of this already. There is more where that came from. Did you say more? In one day, I have collected twice as much treasure as Chloe. And is that enough? Enough? A girl can never have enough diamonds. Sure, I have diamonds and pearls of plenty. I have rubies and sapphires galore. You want gold bracelets? <laughs> I have 20. It's no big deal. I want more. 
Okay, but remember, all magic comes at a price. I'm sorry, what? To be honest, I wasn't listening. I was too busy staring at my tiara. <laughs> After school, we should check out that pirate ship at the bottom of the cove. Do you think there is treasure in there? Ah, uh, dearie, you will have to find out. Sophie, there you are. You were gone before I woke up this morning. Yeah, um, I went for an early morning swim. Well, do you want to go shopping after school today? Sorry, Chloe, I'm kind of busy. Wait, you don't want to go shopping? And Sophie, is that... Is that a purple streak in your hair? What? Really? Did you color your hair? No, I don't have time to get my hair done. I have treasure to find. Come on, let's research that sunken pirate ship. Oh no, did I just see Sophie with... Pan? Who? Pan is a powerful sorcerer dude from Neverland, and mermaids under his spell soon forget about everything that is important until all they care about is treasure. Then they physically transform to be water guardians of his golden fortress in Neverland. And mermaids that go to Neverland never leave. Oh no! I think she's already starting to transform. Her hair, it's turning purple. Chloe, you have to save your sister. Remind her about the things that are truly important. And use your moon bracelet. It will help to keep you connected. So that's what it does. You better hurry. There's no time to waste. Thanks, Ariel. Carmen, Naveen, Jade, I need your help. With what? I'll explain on the way. Follow me. That is crazy. I know. But we have to help Sophie remember what's important to her. She's coming this way. Quick, everyone, get in your places. Sophie, would you like to join me for a cocoa latte? Ooh, a cocoa latte? Or would you like a shiny new diamond? Oh, sorry, Carmen. Gotta go. Plus, I only drink water now. Aww. Sophie, there's new dolls in the toy shop. No, thank you, Jade. <laughs> There's a sale at your favorite store. Maybe later, Chloe. It's not working. Don't give up. We still have Naveen. Sophie, oh, you can eat pie inside. Pie? I, I like pie. Don't I? Why have pie when you can have treasure? Treasure. My precious. Whoa! What happened to you? Yes, the transformation is complete! Follow me to Neverland! <sighs> Sophie! No! Come on, Bracelet! Lead me to my sister! You are going to love Neverland! I have the only fortress with indoor plumbing on the whole island! Sophie, wait! There's nothing for you in Neverland but treasure! What else is is there shopping pie none of those can compare to treasure what about the things that are really important like the people who care about you my friends treasure is the only friend she needs now go! ah sophie my family my sister is more important than any treasure no! Hang on, Chloe! Ah! Gotcha! Sophie, you're back! Of course I couldn't leave, Chloe, because you've got pie. Sophie! Just joking. No, seriously, let's go get pie. Same old Sophie.
Well, hello there. I must say, you are simply fabulous. No, you're fabulous. Oh, <laughs> tell me something I don't know. Has anybody seen Sophie? I mean, seriously, could you be any more fabulous? No, you're the best. No, you're the best. Sophie. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> hey, Carmen. Oops, <laughs> drop the chair. Hey, here is the script for the new Darby show. Make sure you read it over. Of course, Carmen. Aren't I always prepared? Seriously. Don't worry, I will know all my lines. Trust me. Line. Ow! I mean, seriously, who wrote this? Laying on a bed of diamonds. Do you have any idea how uncomfortable this is? Where's my agent? Ugh, I can't walk like this. Ugh. I can't believe we've had superpowers for months now. Cut! Sophie, what are you wearing? You like it? I thought it was pretty wonderful. <laughs> Get it? Wonderful? Yes, um, please go back to wardrobe. Aw, really? Now. Fine. Let's start over, everybody. How about this dress? No. This? No. This? No! Did you see that the snack cart is out of donuts? I mean, seriously, all I asked for is two dozen triple glazed donuts with a salted caramel ganache filling and sprinkles on top in the shape like froggies. Is that too much to ask for? No, not at all. All right, five minutes, everyone. Five minutes. Here, you are going to gracefully swim across the screen. Easier said than done. I think our lines are crossed. Help. Ow. Oh, my back. Ah, Sophie. Gotcha. Oops. I missed. Ah, Sophie. Oops. <laughs> missed again. What about the people who care about you? <laughs> Naveen. This, this is like an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Can we do that again? There has to be a book in here about treasure. Hey, did you know these books aren't real? That's so cool. Uh-oh. Naveen, are those my donuts? <laughs> uh, bye. Come back here. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Wee! Whoa! Woo! All right, I'm gonna be sick. Oh, somebody please get me down! Hey, what's taking so long? Why haven't we started filming yet? Oh, we're waiting on Pan. Probably went to the wrong studio again. Pan! That boy is forever getting lost. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Pan is a powerful sorcerer guy. I mean, kid. No, <laughs> what's the line again? Dude. Oh, powerful sorcerer dude. Don't worry, Sophie. I will save you. Chloe, not you too. Sorry, Carmen. <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. Oh, boy. But you gotta admit, it is pretty cool. Super Chloe to the rescue! Hey, if she gets to keep that outfit, then I get to keep the purple hair. Can someone get me down? Hello? Somebody? All right, I'll just hang out until somebody comes back. <laughs> get it? I'm just hanging out. Yeah. <sighs>I'm heading over to the pet shop to help Miss Tremaine organize the store. You want to come? Wait, Miss Tremaine, our drama teacher, owns the little froggy pet shop? Yeah, she makes the cutest little talking animal videos. 
I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Sure, I would love to help. How much is she paying? Nothing. It's volunteer work. Plus, the pet shop can't really afford it. Miss Tremaine keeps spending all of her time making those talking animal videos. videos. But, sorry Chloe, volunteer work and I don't really, hmm, agree on the budget. Now if you will excuse me, I have some very important shopping to do. Hey Grandma. Hello baby. I am so glad you stopped by. Do you mind doing your grandma a favor later on? A favor? Like, um, work? Let me check my schedule and I'll get back with you. Okay Grandma? Okay, baby. Chloe, I have frozen yogurt. Wow, Sophie, thanks. No, no, I said I have frozen yogurt. You know, Sophie, sometimes when you're kind and generous, nice things come back to you. For example, I just so happen to have two tickets to the 3D movie playing Tonight. You know, Chloe, now that I think about it, two servings of frozen yogurt are more than I can handle. Please have one. Thanks. Ahem, <clears throat> aren't you forgetting something? Oh, yeah, the spoon. Mmm, this marshmallow? I love marshmallow. Hey, Chloe, don't you have something to give me now? Oh, you're right. Hold on. I'm almost finished. Marshmallow, yum! Here's my empty bowl. Thanks for throwing it away. And it's amazing how you're so generous without expecting anything in return. Huh. I don't need Chloe's movie ticket. I can just buy my own. I still have $14. And since the movie only costs 10, I'll have plenty left over. Enough left over for a quick trip to the frozen yogurt shop? No. Buy ticket first, then use the extras to buy frozen yogurt. Yeah, that's the plan. Oh, who am I kidding? Just a little bit of this. Ooh, and a whole bunch of that. That would be $14, please. Fourteen? Aw, oh, man. I can't believe that took all my money. I blame those tasty little toppings. Ooh, they add up so quickly. Hey, Sophie, are you going to that 3D movie tonight? I'm working on it. The movie is only planned tonight. The special effects are going to be out of this world. It really is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Are you talking about the 3D movie playing tonight? It's only going to be the best movie ever! Are you going? No, not at the moment. Oh, that's too bad. Cause it's going to be awesome. But I can tell you all about it. And I'll even do the voices. It'll be just like you were there. Thanks, Jade. Well, we've gotta go. We'll see you later. I have to go to that movie! Sophie, you just need a job. A job? And it just so happens that I am looking for someone to help with marketing. Marketing? Oh, like be an actress in a commercial? I can totally do that. All right, there. Now you just stand outside and twirl the sign around. You've got to be kidding me. Frog yo, frozen yogurt. Get your frog yo, frozen yogurt right here. What? You don't like frozen yogurt? What has frozen yogurt ever done to you? I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, well, in that case, move along. What flavors do you have? I don't know, go check inside and look. No, 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 Sophie. We must be kind to the customers. So they are generous with the toppings, no? And sing the little song. She doesn't want to hear the song. I want to hear the song. Don't make me sing the song. Sing! 
hop, hop, hippity hop. Frog Yo Frozen Yogurt is the best premium all natural probiotic frozen yogurt in town on this side of the street. On the second thought, maybe you should just hand out the free samples. Free samples, you say? You got fired? Apparently, free samples are for customers only. I didn't even get paid. After Naveen subtracted what I ate, I ended up owing him money. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. I guess I can help you, seeing how I have nothing better to do. Great! I was hoping you would help. You can start by putting the cat food on the shelf. This was actually kind of fun. Doesn't it feel good to be kind and generous with your time and help others? Yeah, I guess I have a few warm and fuzzy feelings. Thanks, Chloe. For what? For getting me to think about someone else other than myself for a change. For a minute there, I almost forgot that I'm not going to the movies. <laughs> Sophie, I wouldn't cry just yet. Well done, Chloe. And I see you found help after all. Get up, Sophie. Okay, I'm trying. And I hope the two of you enjoy those movie tickets tonight. You have certainly earned them. What? Oh, yeah. Did I forget to tell you that Miss Tremaine said I could give the other ticket to whoever helped me organize the shop? Yes. Yes, you did. Sophie, remember those warm, fuzzy feelings. Hmm. Shack? Only those who are pure of heart may enter here. Or pay $20. Cash only. I'll pay the $20. What a wondrous place filled with such beauty. Like this adorable jackalope. What you looking at, sister? Ah! Crazy bunny. Crazy bunny. Sophie, wake up. Chloe, I had the craziest dream. I was in the woods and I found this mysterious shack and I paid $20 again, which was totally not worth it. But then you'll never believe it. There was a talking bunny. Sophie, that wasn't a dream. What's up? Aw, let's get out of here. Home sweet home. Hello, Chloe. I still can't believe you named the cat after yourself. I wouldn't even do that. I didn't. That was her name when I adopted her from the animal center. And I didn't want my little Chloe Woey to have identity issues, so I left it. Ugh, you and that cat. Sophie, if you had a pet, I bet you would be the same way. Me? Never. <gasps> Look at the bunny! It followed us home! Let's get rid of those silly little antlers. Now you're the cutest little bunny ever! Doesn't it look like a Sophie? <coughs> yep, you two are a perfect match. Come in. Hey, Jade. Hey, Sophie. Chloe, Kat and I ran over here to tell you. 
I thought that you and your cat Chloe could join me and my dog Cat. A dog named Cat? Ha, huh. show some originality. Huh, Sophie. Sure, it sounds like fun. Great, and there's a cash prize. Did you say cash? Sorry, Sophie, but you have to have a pet to enter a pet show. Ahem, <clears throat> do you notice anything different about me, Jade? You have a new hat? No, I have the world's cutest bunny as a pet, which is pretty much a guarantee that I will win this pet show. Chloe's pretty cute. I'm sure we have a chance of winning too. Against me? Yeah, right. I guess we'll just have to see then, won't we? Yeah, we will. May the best sister win. I plan on it. <coughs> Nothing like a little friendly competition. I see you decided to show up. Yeah, we walked here together. The competition shall begin in one hour. Please, make sure you have turned in all your paperwork. And it must be accurate. Paperwork? Nobody said anything about paperwork. I submitted mine online before we left the house. Good luck finding a pin out here, Sophie. And remember, you will be judged at accuracy. Uh, I'll show you accuracy. Does anyone have a pen? Gift shop. They've got to have a pen in here. Wow, look at this place. Do you have a pen? Yeah, sure, just look on the top shelf. Huh, what's this? It's a flashlight that can resize pretty much anything. I'll take this too. Great, but remember, no refunds. And we are not responsible for anything that may or may not happen. Fine with me. Come here, cat. Good boy. There, you're all ready for the show, little Chloe. Ha, not so little anymore. <laughs> what happened to my cat? <laughs> so that's how you want to play, huh? Well, two can play that game. Hello, I was wondering if you could help me. I need something special for my sister. No refunds! Not a problem. You are almost there. Very good. Once I tell the judge how fabulous you are, cash prize, here we come. I'm sure the judge is going to love your new speaking voice. Chloe, what was that? What have you done to my voice? I sound completely ridiculous. Yeah, well, I took a little trip to the Mystery Shack gift shop to give you a taste of your own medicine. Because nobody messes with my Chloe. Ha ha ha! And you think this feeble attempt will prevent me from winning? Think again, sister. Contestants, line up. Judging has begun. Let's start with you. This is my cat, Chloe. Your paperwork says that she is one and a quarter feet tall. She is clearly three feet tall. Yeah, well, she had a growth spurt. It was kind of spontaneous. Disqualified. Sophie, you're next. Miss Tremaine, I would like to introduce you to my pet, Sophie. I see that you are not taking this seriously. Disqualified. Woohoo! I won! <sighs> are you upset that you did not win? No, I'm more upset about the way I behaved. I don't know what happened. It was supposed to be a friendly competition and I wasn't so friendly. No, no you were not. Sophie. All right, so there is a possibility that I may have started all of this. We're sisters, best friends, and we should never let anything like a little competition come between us again. But a cash prize. Sophie. The way you touch my hand, it all goes away. 
the things I planned, the things I would say now I keep rambling on. I sound so cliche. What I am trying to do is say I love you. Ooh, 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 and all the things that you Oh wow! The mysterious portal has reopened in the lockers. You know what that means. Journey to another dimension. Wow, I am so unbelievably cute here, it is like crazy. Huh, pink hair. Usually I'm a purple kind of girl, but I can make anything look fabulous. Ooh, someone's at the door. I have company. Apparently I am popular in all dimensions. Hello? Lippy Lulu, where have you been? Um, who are you and what are you doing in my house? Wait a minute, is this my house? I don't really know. I just got here today. Lippy Lulu, I have been calling you all afternoon! Lippy who? Come on, Lippy, there's no time to play. You know they're going to be here soon and you were supposed to be setting up for the party! Uh... Are you sure you want me to set up for a party? I mean, seriously, parties are so last season. What did you say? Don't you know that parties never go out of style? Okay, you're gonna have to take it down a notch. Or two. Ah! Or three. I just wanted them to have the best homecoming ever. They've been traveling the world. They are the very first shoppies to ever leave Shopville. Are you saying they are shoppies who boldly go where no shoppie has gone before? Star Trek reference. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Star Trek? You mean we can go into outer space too? Wow. Why don't you take a moment? And relax. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Put your feet up. Maybe the twitching will stop. Okay, so it looks like I'm planning a party. Let's see what's in the fridge. Hello! I don't know what that was about, but I am not going back in there. Maybe in this dimension, Parties don't have food. Hello! Ah! Sophie, are you in here? Over here! How did I know that you would jump through a portal to another dimension? Seriously, Sophie, you gotta stop doing this. Lippy, is everything okay? Everything's fine! Who's Lippy? I have no idea. That's just what they keep calling me here. And in my experience with sci-fi movies, it's always best to just go with it. You see, I have a theory. Ooh, what is it? When we cross through the portal into another dimension, we assume the identity of humanoids from that universe. And we have to play along, otherwise we may disrupt the space-time continuum. Creating a black hole that sucks everything into oblivion! We seriously have to cut back on your sci-fi. This isn't healthy. Come on, Sophie, let's jump through the portal and go home. But we can't! Because I may have said, okay, I did say, that I would throw a party for some shoppies, that's what they call themselves, who are returning from a long world vacation. You volunteered to do work. I know, right? And yet, it is not the strangest thing that has happened to me today. All right, so let's throw a party so we can go home. Now what's in the fridge? No! Huh? Uh, ah! Never open that door. Okay, so maybe we can make some food for the party. I know just the thing. I saw it when I was going through their cabinets. <gasps> Sophie! It's a cotton candy maker. Ugh. How did this fit under the cabinets? It's another dimension, remember? Think of it like Hermione's purse from Harry Potter. Sophie, you can't use movie references to explain everything in real life. 
We are five and a half inches tall and in another dimension. Good point. Now let's turn this thing on. Sophie, wait, we should read the instructions. Who needs instructions? Whoa, why is it making that sound? Okay, so do we have a plan B? Oh no, they're here. What do we do? Why are you looking at me? Lippy Lulu, Kirsty, all the way from Europe, we're here. Who's Kirsty? I'm guessing that's you. We're over here. Wow, it looks like somebody got into the cotton candy machine. I've really got to get that fixed. So you're not upset that we didn't throw you a grand party and instead slimed the kitchen? Oh, Lippy Lulu, not at all. After traveling the world, we're just happy to be home with our best friends. Uh, yeah, about that. I'm not really Lippy Lulu. I'm from another dimension. <laughs> Say what? Shout out to Meg Pango. What's up? Sophie, that was crazy. Fun, interesting, but crazy. Yeah, but I'm not gonna tell you that I won't do it again. Of course not. That will make life too simple. Hey, Lippy Lulu, over here. What? Carmen? Why do you sound like... It's me, Peppa Mint. Did you know you left the portal open? <gasps> wow, is that a cuckoo latte? I've never had one of those before. Uh-oh, Chloe, we have a situation. Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!